And this time I was feeling badass. Don't f with me. I will get you. Hi, I'm Mel B, aka Scary Spice, and this is my hair story. I do like this look. It's giving me kind of like African queen vibes. They put my hair in a bun and the braids were already braided and then just slotted it on top of my head. And I like how it's all different types of colour and you can actually see my face for once. How Spice Girls started was there was this audition in this newspaper called The Stage. We answered the advert, went down to London, did the audition and nothing really came of it. And then we decided, you know what? We're dancers, we're singers, let's just get a house together and start our group together. We managed to write an album, I did all the choreography, we styled ourselves and we started to pitch ourselves to all different record labels. All of which were saying, ugh, no, girl bands are never gonna work because it's all about boy bands. And we kept on trying. That's how it started, you've got to start from somewhere, haven't you? None of us chose our names. It was a lazy journalist who probably couldn't be bothered to remember all of our names correctly. So he was like, well, that one looks sporty, that one looks scary in the leopard print. And he was like, I guess that one looks a bit ginger. And we were like, oh, I actually don't mind that name. So we kept him. If you meet me off the bat, <laughs> I can be scary. So it's perfect for me. It's nothing to do with black bits or whatever. No, it's not. So just like, I've always worn leopard print. That's not a gimmick, that is me. And my closet's full of it. And you know, in interviews, I would be the first one to go, oh, boring, and ne next question. I was kind of a little bit scary. I've always been one that's been very true to myself. My hair's my hair, and I, I loved it, and I still do. And the more I can wear it out and loud and proud, plus, we only had two hairdressers, so I wasn't about to be waking up early. When the Spice Girls got more famous, I got confused because people were like, oh my God, yeah, you're wearing your hair out. I'm like, well, how else am I going to wear my hair? It's my hair. I didn't know why everyone was making a big deal of it. I was like, this is what I'm working with and I love it. And it's wild and it's like fun and it goes everywhere. Just to go like that, wash and go. I was quick and easy and ready. And well, this one's quite funny because I guess I want it to be a little bit different and I am quite devilish. So I decided every show that we did on tour that I would make my own headband with horns on it. So I got two plastic paper cups and then I wrapped a hair around it and then I'd take it off and throw it into the audience as my gift. And really easily made and I bet the person that got that looked at it and was like, God, this has really been handmade. Because it was. <laughs> yeah, the horns, the leopard print. I can't help it, I love it, it's me. So this is the Brit Awards when we won our first proper British award. The year before we went and we sat way in the back going, one day we'll be up there. And then the following year, we were. Having your own doll is a bit weird. Maybe we were one of the first ones as a group to do it, like a singing girl group. And I love how they did my hair, because at one point I did have highlights in my hair when I did the um, Say You'll Be There video, because I was like, you know what, my hair, it's not boring, but it's always the same. So I put a few like bleached bits in it. It's like a sun-kissed vibe. So I went through a braided look, as you can see. So this is all my hair. I didn't realise that you can actually make it thicker and longer. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, no, you're not putting other people's hair in my hair. Just braid it and be good to go. This was at my birthday party. I think I did my own hair and makeup too. <laughs> we didn't know contour back then. We do now. We didn't know we were going to be that popular at all. We were just on our girl power mission. So when the world kind of embraced us, we were like, yes, we're going to go to this place now and this place and perform in Japan. And then at some point we were like, I am absolutely knackered. We need a break. So we all took a bit of a break and we all went to go and do other projects. I remember after my second baby, I was like, I want to do this straight thing. I want to be able to run my hands through my hair. Yeah, that lasted all of about five minutes. And I was like, God, it's so much hard work. How do people do this? You have to wear a bonnet. You have to sleep with it in a certain way. So then this one, I wanted to see what straight hair looked like. But yeah, again, it's just high maintenance. Then I decided, you know what? I'm going to dye my hair red. And I was very into, which I've always been, into um, chakras. And your crown chakra is like a quartzy baby pink colour. And that's what I was aiming for, but it ended up pillar box red. And then I'm here back at my 
natural curl. Thank God it bounced back. I owe my hair a lot of thank yous. I would always hydrate it. And then sometimes if one of the curls are gone a bit school with, get one of those tiny, tiny little curling irons. I do sleep with a silk pillow so that my hair is somewhat kind of taken care of when I sleep because I'm a bit of a mover and a shaker in the bedroom. So Dancing with the Stars, I was like, you know what? I love dancing, I've always loved dancing. I had Spice Girls tour rehearsals starting about a month into Dancing with the Stars and I was like, well, I'm not gonna last that long. And I stayed into the very end. So I had to do Dancing with the Stars rehearsal, then the evening I would do Spice Girls rehearsal. It was full on. And don't forget this Maxim Chermerkovsky. He's Russian and he's very strict. It worked out good, but I, I gave myself a lot of work to do. And what was actually interesting about doing Dancing with the Stars is they have their own hair and makeup table. So I was just like, just do whatever you want. They're like, no, well, in ballroom dancing, you have to be from head to toe in that character. So if you're doing a tango, you want to slick back something. If you're doing a jive, you want it crazy and bouncy. It's hair at the end of the day. I've always wanted to have like a shaved side head. I think, I don't know if it's because I'm a Gemini where I can just go flip, flip your, look at that. And it was a bit of a statement, but then again, the upkeep of that, you have to shave your hair. I think it's like once a week if you want it to look slick. I was like, I'm just gonna grow this out. It's too much maintenance. And then I did go through a phase where I just wanted that nice and easy floaty girly look which again, didn't last for very long. It's like I was just playing a bit of a character. But I think your hair and what you wear is an expression and, a, and an extension of you and how you're feeling at that time. And this time I was feeling badass. Don't f with me. That one in particular, like I will get you. <laughs> so I went through on the AGT seasons, as you can see, my hair went through so many different looks. Oh, I've loved being a judge on America's Got Talent. I was doing it for seven years. I was living in LA for about 15 years. And then come 2019, I decided, well, my kids actually decided, like, why don't we move back to England? All your family's there. And I was going through a divorce and I just wanted you to get rid of everything. So there was a lot of straightening. There was a lot of dying. Cut it all off. I want to look completely different. I'm becoming this new woman. I've got my life back and I'm moving back home. And I really liked this look because this was like a textured look, which I loved. And that was pieces put in. And then this look, this was mostly mine, but with big curlers. That seems to take forever, but you know, you've got to make an effort if you're on America's Got Talent. Everybody else is, so I, I made an effort. I get dolled up, tweaked and pulled and all this. So sometimes I didn't even look at myself during the process because I trusted my team. I'd walk out the door and I'd go, damn, right, okay. <laughs> so I <I'm> transformed. <laughs> I'm Mel B. Watch me on AGT Fantasy League on NBC because I'm in it!